Hi everybody, welcome to today's video. And this video is all about my add-on BB Toolkit Pre and Pro. And the release version is 1.0.8. And this is really important if you're using Blender version 4.2. And as you may or may not know, may not know Blender 4.2 introduced extensions to Blender, which are effectively the same as add-ons and there's been some updates required from add-on developers to make sure that they work properly in that version of Blender. So without further ado, let's have a quick look at the release notes. So here we are. Uh, in summary, this is a quality of life update and also introduce, uh, introduces Blender 4.2 compatibility. So what are the improved improvements to the quality of life? So firstly, obviously, this is a big one. Um, I did release a, a patch on the 19th of August, in fact, to get the actual install, uh, installation working for 4.2, but there was an error trying to uninstall the add-on as well. So this is what this update addresses fully. So yeah, installed and uninstalled is now fully compatible with Blender 4.2 extensions slash add-ons. Uh, this is quite a, an important update here. I don't know why I didn't do that on the initial release. The operator panel, and that's the little panel that pops up in the bottom left hand corner when you add something to your to your Blender scene. Well that panel now shows all of the available options when you add a mesh or other things to your scene. And just FYI, previously there would only be a subset of these options available. So that's really good. You got everything available to you now. Uh, the next update is the, the default options for the bevel modifier has been uh, updated and this effectively now gives you three segments by default instead of one and the meter outer which is under geometry I believe is now set to arc by default. Um, Blender's default will only have sharp as the default which is a terrible setting so trust me when I say this is a very good thing and finally the Boolean modifier has got a great increase uh, yeah, increase update for visual feedback and that's when the cookie cutter object will now have its viewport display method changed to wireframe and that allows you to see very clearly the Boolean result. So let's head over into Blender now and I'll show you the first thing we need to do and that's how to install the actual add-on in version 4.2 so let's have a look at that so the first thing you want to do is obviously download the uh, zip file of the free or pro version hopefully the pro version that'd be good and once you've done that and you know where you've saved it head over to blender click on edit head into preferences and you want to select the get extensions option not add-ons so click on get extensions in the right hand side and I wish this was much clearer and more of a button here but in this little drop down menu just there you can find install from disk and the reason for that is because you've downloaded the file it's on your disk right so let's click install from disk and here's um, both versions of the the add-on which I've downloaded into this folder so I'm going to select the pro version and click install from disk you can see BB Toolkit Pro has popped up under the extensions just there. Uh, this is where you're going to find the uninstall option here. Okay, so you'll also find the link to blendermarket.com, i.e. the product page of the add-on itself. You'll also find the same thing in the little drop-down menu just there. Now weirdly you can't disable the add-ons from here. At least I couldn't see that for all of them. Um, some of them maybe, maybe not, but to do that, if you want to disable any add-ons in Blender, head over to the add-ons section and find the relevant add-on and untick the box and that will just disable it, but not actually uninstall it. So that's a good way of doing it. Right, with that all done, let me show you the, the, the difference or the update, I should say, of the bevel modifier in the actual add-on and here's the add-on on the right hand side there and you can see when I clicked uh, an actual mesh object you don't get all the options with other things but the mesh objects you get the full suite of tools and modifiers available there so 
everything is collapsible here, of course, just like any modifiers or add-ons, I should say, that you install. So anyway, uh, let me demonstrate the difference between the, the bevel modifier here in the add-on and the default bevel modifier that's added in Blender. So on the left here, we've got this cube. It's a basic cube. You can see if I just turn off the modifier there, it's a basic cube where I've just added uh, some insets, okay? Or, yeah, extrude the faces along the normals. So let's turn that back on. So if I go and add a bevel modifier, as I've done here, the defaults for those are 0.1 on the on the cell, on the cell, the, the cell, the scale, the size, the amount of, of bevel. Segments is one, and under geometry, which is normally closed by default, if we open this, you can see we've got sharp there and sharp on the inner. Now the most important one is the meter outer, and I'll show you why next. And by the way, I have left this um, these objects flat shaded, so that's my they might look a bit weird, but uh, yeah, that's the reason I did that. It just makes it easier to see the results of the bevel. So on the right hand side here is the same cube. So if I go into edit mode, turn off the modifier, you can see it's exactly the same cube. However, I added this modifier by clicking on the boolean object. Uh, tool here, okay? So not the boolean, <laughs> the bevel, I should say. So what that gives you um, over and above the default is a smaller amount of, of bevel. So rather than you getting this larger single segment, you now get three segments on a smaller scale. But critically, notice the um, under geometry again, notice the meter outer is now arc by default, not sharp. And I'll show you, demonstrate why that's important, why it's really important actually, um, for topology and many other reasons. So I'll just focus on the areas here, and I'm also going to turn on the wireframe overlay, which I can do with the add-on just there, and that's available under this option here by default, but the add-on makes it a lot easier. So if I head over to this side, and let's, for instance, increase the segments to three on this one as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. And make that 0 0.03 as well. So it's the same as my add-on. You'll notice here, this looks very bad. Okay. So not great topology, not a good flow of edge loops or anything really there. Plus you also get a triangle, I believe, in that area there. However, if we head over to my version here, you'll notice this is a lot nicer. Um, in terms of topology and also edge flow. Everything's quads. You can see there 0 0.03 and 3, uh, if I select that one, 0 0.03 and 3, and because the only difference is arc, if I set it back to sharp, you get that horrible topology just there. So the add-on does that for you, which is great. So it's a very important update to that. Swiftly moving on, let's head over to the Boolean and I'll demonstrate the before and after, i.e. the default version Let's turn the wireframe off. This is the default version on the left and the BB Toolkit version on the right. Okay, now clearly you can see the difference. This cube is a wireframe um, display in the viewport and this one is a standard shaded um, cube. So this is the default when you add a Boolean modifier uh, through Blender's default option, which is just here, add Boolean. It doesn't change the, the visual representation or rendering of this cookie cutter object, which is cube number four here. So the only way to see your, your result is to turn that object off. You can see there the Boolean working. So it's a bit of a tedious step and it's not very intuitive. So BB Toolkit Pro and um, probably free, I believe. I always forget that. Um, now we'll switch the cookie cutter object to wireframe under the viewport display options just there. You can see it's wireframe and not textured, which is the default. That's a really big help if you're doing booleans. Let me just demonstrate the uh, operator panel update. If you're not sure what that is, this will make it absolutely clear. Let me delete the um, default cube. So on the add-on, on, on the right here, you have objects section, and you have an array there, as you can see, of various options. Uh, and mesh objects as well as a camera. So previously when you added one of these <clears throat> you'd only get a um, a subset of the options in the operator panel and that's that panel that pops up 
down here. So if I add manually mesh cube, you can see we have a menu down here in the bottom left. And these are the options available for that cube. Okay, so you can make things, you know, change these like the location, rotation, and the view, and all that kind of stuff, and the, set, the scale. You get the idea. So, previously on my add on, um, for some reason, there was a subset of these options available only, things like the cell, the size, and that was pretty much it, I think, for the cube, I think. Um, well, now, if you add a cube there, you can see we get exactly the same options, which is a great bonus to the, uh, the add-on. And I don't know why it wasn't like that in the first place, sorry about that. So you can see if I add different things, not the cube again, maybe a cone, you can change these anyway in previously, but now you've got all the options available to you, okay? A lot of these were there before, like the main ones here. I think it's mainly the ones at the bottom that we're missing. So now we have that, which is great. And yeah, I just want to demonstrate that as well. That's inversion 1.0.8.